go. Okay, Jen, I'm going to um, show you something using one of these. You've seen me do prediction effects before. I have. Now, most of the time, if I'm trying to predict a card, I use one of these. Not many magicians have got these. They're very expensive, and they're really hard to come by. They're called phantom cards. Take a look at it. Now, at the moment, it's just got a blank face. Right. But they're saying very special, these phantom cards do. I always keep them safe in my wallet, so if I can get that back in there. Like so, we'll zip out, we'll leave that there, we'll come back to it in a moment. What I need you to do for me is, uh, so I'm going to show you how this works, is I need you to pick a card. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to do it the standard way. I'm actually going to get you just to name any card. So you know it's a totally free choice, actually. Um, so you know it's a totally free choice. So anyone you like. Okay, nine of clubs. Nine of clubs, good choice. Uh, do me a favour, if you take the pen, just sign your name across the face of the nine of clubs, big and bold. And the reason I get people to sign cards is just in case, a lot of people actually forget what card they've picked, so as long as it's got your signature, we'll know it's yours, okay? Now, bearing in mind, you could have chose any card, you could have had a ten of diamonds, a jack of spades, the eight of clubs, the two of clubs, uh, the queen of hearts, any of those. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the phantom card actually plays a big part now, because you chose the card, it was a totally free choice, yeah? yeah? yeah. There's no way I could have made you pick that no. card. So at the moment, the card in here, remember it's got a, a blue back, so if your card had a red back, but this card is actually taking on the guise of your chosen playing card. It's still got its blue back, but take it out and have a look at the face and show it to the camera. Oh, it's mine. Well done. And that is the Phantom card.